Oh yeah, and in terms of an update regarding the really sad news that Kanye had been sued by a former personal assistant for sexual harassment that kind of caught me off guard the other day and I commented on as a development on that actually Ye has actually released a statement or some sort of explanation courtesy of Yeezy regarding those um, that lawsuit and all the allegations in there which look kind of dicey um, if you're not familiar with it a young lady um, who was a former personal assistant of, of Ye who Ye had hired from OnlyFans and stuff and told her to quit OnlyFans um, because he wanted her to be more godly and then paid her an absorbent amount of money to not do only fans anymore i think it was like a million a year or something stupid like that for her to be basically a glorified trophy personal assistant and allegedly she's alleging that during her time working at yeezy that Ye would send her loads of vulgar text messages and shit and um he obviously in the end ended up withholding or not following through on payment which is what led to the lawsuit so it's part it's partly sexual harassment but it seems to be more of an issue a dispute on pay which again is something that keeps happening at Yeezy I'm not sure why there's not a dedicated person on payroll just to deal with that sort of shit because it seems like people put up with a lot of shit with Kanye because it's fucking Ye he's a fucking genius and people will do anything from clout and association with someone like that so people tend to put up with a lot of shit with him but I think no one will put up with not getting paid so I think if you do piss off people if you if you if you're in the business of harassing people if you're in the business of being a cunt and just being a nightmare and a ball leg to deal with the least you can do is pay people on time and i think because Kanye doesn't pay people on time and all the other stuff he does it just sends people overboard and obviously they go crazy now that's one side of the story the other side of the story could be that Kanye is exactly who the girl described him to be in the in the you know brief bits that we've seen in the report and it's pretty heinous do you know what I mean because he's into some dicey shit he said some wild shit in the fucking thing if you remember what I read out courtesy of TMZ so I'm hoping that not to be the case but regardless there's a statement here courtesy of yay 24 vision on um, twitter and um, you can find it at yay 24 vision underscore all one word on twitter if you want to see it yourself but i'm going to read the statement here on screen and see what he has to say for himself and if this provides any explanation or clarification or makes it okay what this person had accused him of doing this person this former personal assistant who we're going to refer to as lauren p because i forgot how to pronounce her surname in response to these baseless allegations so he's coming firing firing from the hip straight away let's see what yay says here in response to these baseless allegations yay will be filing a lawsuit against lauren p who actively pursued him sexually to coerce employment and other material benefits then engaged in blackmail and extortion when her advances were rejected so yeah, he's trying to say that, no, I wasn't trying to fuck. She was trying to fuck me. But because he's a godly man, because he's a faithful man, because he's fucking Kanye fucking West, he did the thing that no man would probably do in that position. And he turned down this massive titted, you know, very hoary looking white woman's advances, um, which is kind of suspicious to see because, you know, the woman, if you see her, she does look like Kanye's type. She basically looks like a she basically looks like Bianca Cesari on steroids so you can understand why he'd be into her and you could definitely believe that he wanted her to quit OnlyFans and commit to Yeezy all this sort of shit I could definitely see that to be the case but that's what he says he continues prior to her termination as an assistant Lauren P stole his cell phone in an attempt to destroy phone records that would contradict her claims all of which have been preserved wow so she has <coughs> in her lawsuit she says she has evidence text messages and other stuff of what Ye said to her but Ye also says he has evidence that shows that she tried to steal her steal his phone or something. what she was terminated for being unqualified demanding unreasonable sums of money including four million annual salary and numerous documented instances of her being left what's that Las lascivious what is less what's the meaning of lascivious lasci vios meaning feeling or revealing an overt sexual interest of desire okay i've never heard of that term lascivious or lascivious or i say lascivious 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 however you fucking say that word kanye is using it as a defense fair play fair fucking play let's go back to the statement um during her employment lauren p offered yay sex on his birthday to which he declined <laughs> he declined it like um somebody asking for an autograph no thank you <laughs> not tonight <laughs> um during her employment lauren p offered yay sex on his birthday to which he declined sent yay unsolicited to new mid images sexual narratives and was seen twerking in the office during business hours so you're not allowed to work twerk in the office <laughs> okay twerking is a form of sexual har harassment 
<laughs> one on one occasion lauren p boasted how the best moment of her life was when she was being ejaculated on by a soccer player while simultaneously texting her boss okay it's well documented jesus christ the details what kind of reply is this did the a write this himself it's well documented how lauren p consistently used sexual coercion in an attempt to demand not only money by natural items but material items sorry namely hermes birkin bags and lamborghini and endless quest of plastic surgery to be honest though you hired her too because of what she looks like so this is a weird thing to fight back with but again i don't know who wrote this but this is a fucking crazy reply um upon having her advances rebuked <laughs> rebuked <laughs> this is definitely yay yeah, isn't it <laughs> rebuked <laughs> This is some Christian phraseology. Um, Lauren P. Blackmail demands have gone from 60 million last year to 50 million last week. Frivolous filing. Such behavior. Oh, that's what she's trying to get. 50 million. Wow. Such behavior is entirely inconsistent with someone who claimed to have been sexually harassed or experienced hostile work environment. It's evident that Lauren P. leveraged her association with Ye and his company and her proximity to him to seek material gains, clout, and employment through inappropriate means i've never heard the words clout being referred to or being used when trying to reply to a fucking legal filing or a lawsuit clout her initial attempt at a lawsuit for unfulfilled termination gained no media traction leading her to fabricate um headlines following threats of black man extortion yay isn't the only celebrity targeted by lauren p jay leno is suing her for stealing his chin <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hilarious okay well it seems like yay's not taking it too seriously so maybe they've got evidence on their side of things regarding what's happened and maybe they can clarify it but judging by this statement this reply um this clap back he doesn't seem to be taking it seriously which is both concerning and maybe comforting because it means that he probably didn't do it who knows who knows i guess we'll have to wait and see but regardless um i hope this is a lesson learned for him um stop hiring fucking sex workers to be your assistants and to do like actual work unless you want to hire them for what they're good at don't hire them just because you want you know i like you know eye candy and shit and you want people to walk into the office and see some only fans girl in the reception like, just hire people who are qualified for the role and if you are going to hire people who you want to have sex with make that very clear and let them be okay with it. You know what I mean? Don't just spring it on them whilst they're working and shit. That's like, again, not cool. But again, what do I know? What do I know? Absolutely nothing.